How to read a thermometer. The mercury in a thermometer expands as it warms. As the temperature rises, the mercury rises. Here you can see the mercury at negative 40 degrees, at negative 20 degrees, at zero degrees, at positive 20 degrees, and at positive 40 degrees. Take a close look. What's the temperature of the mercury's new location? The temperature reads positive 60 degrees or 60 degrees above zero. Take another look. What's the temperature at the mercury's new location? The temperature reads negative 60 degrees or 60 degrees below zero. Compare negative 5 degrees and negative 12 degrees. Here the mercury's location sits at negative 12 degrees or 12 degrees below zero. As the temperature rises just a bit, the new location is negative 5 degrees or 5 degrees below zero. 12 degrees below zero is colder than 5 degrees below zero. Negative 12 degrees is colder than negative 5 degrees. Elevation, above sea level and below sea level. In this lesson, I'm using a fish and a bird. The fish's elevation is 12 meters below sea level and the bird's elevation is 28 meters above sea level. The elevation of the fish is negative 12 meters and the elevation of the bird is 28 meters. The surface of the ocean or the sea is sea level or zero meters. The distance between the sea level and the fish is 12 meters. The absolute value of negative 12 is 12. In other words, an elevation of negative 12 is still 12 meters below sea level. The elevation of the bird is 28 meters. The distance between sea level and the bird is 28 meters. So what's the distance between the fish and the bird? To find the distance between the fish and the bird, we would add the absolute values of their elevations, 28 and 12. 28 plus 12 equals 40. The total distance between the fish's elevation and the bird's elevation is 40 meters. This is a lesson in comparing values using greater than, less than, and equal to signs. 3 compared to negative 3. On the number line, positive 3 is to the right of negative 3, and that makes positive 3 greater than negative 3. Reading from left to right, 3 is greater than negative 3. From right to left it would read, negative 3 is less than 3. 12 compared to 24. On a number line, 24 would be to the right of 12, making 24 greater than 12. Reading left to right would be 12 is less than 24. Right to left it would read 24 is greater than 12. Negative 12 compared to negative 24. Negative 12 is further to the right on the number line than negative 24 making negative 12 greater than negative 24. Negative 12 is greater than negative 24. 5 compared to the opposite of negative 5. 5 is equal to the opposite of negative 5, since the opposite of negative 5 is the same as positive 5. 7 and 2 tenths compared to 7. 7 and 2 tenths is further to the right on the number line than 7, making 7 and 2 tenths greater than 7. 7 and 2 tenths is greater than 7. Negative 7 and 2 tenths compared to negative 7. Negative 7 and 2 tenths is further to the left on the number line than negative 7, 
making 7 and 2 tenths smaller or less than negative 7. Negative 7 and 2 tenths is less than negative 7. Negative 1 and 5 tenths compared to negative 3 halves. Negative 1 and 5 tenths is equal to negative 3 halves because negative 3 halves or negative 3 divided by 2 equals negative 1 and 5 tenths or negative 1.5. Negative four fifths compared to negative five fourths. Negative four fifths is to the right of negative one on the number line, and negative five fourths is to the left of negative one on the number line. Therefore, negative four fifths is greater than negative five fourths. Negative three fifths compared to negative six tenths. These are equivalent fractions. So negative three-fifths is equal to negative six-tenths. Negative two-thirds compared to one-third. Negative two-thirds is less than zero, and one-third is greater than zero. Negative two-thirds is less than one-third. What is a markup in price? A markup in price is a percentage added to the original price. If a ticket to the game costs $30, a 100% markup is an additional $30 added to the price. With a 100% markup, the new ticket price would be $60. With a 200% markup, you add $60 or 200% of the original price. If you add a 200% markup to a $30 ticket, you'd have to add $60 to the $30, and the ticket after a 200% markup would cost $90. Yellow and blue make green. In this case, mixing two cups of yellow paint and three and a half cups of blue paint make this shade of green. Find a mixture that will make the same shade of green, but a smaller amount. We could mix half the amount of yellow paint and half the amount of blue paint. That would give us the same shade of green, but a smaller amount. Half of two cups of yellow would be one cup of yellow. Half of these two cups of blue would be one cup of blue. Half of this one cup of blue would be half a cup of blue. And half of this half a cup of blue would be a quarter cup. So the new mixture would be one cup of yellow paint and one and seventy-five hundredths of a cup of blue paint, or one and three-fourths cups of blue paint. Find a mixture that will make the same shade of green, but a larger amount. One easy way would be multiply each color by ten. Two cups of yellow paint become twenty cups of yellow paint, and three and five-tenths cups of blue paint becomes thirty-five cups of blue paint. So this larger mixture would be 20 cups of yellow paint and 35 cups of blue paint. To keep the same shade of green, but have a larger amount, we kept the same ratio. We just added 10 times more of each color. Find a mixture that will make a bluer shade of green. So now we're not going to have the same ratio. To make a bluer shade of green, we need to increase the ratio of blue to yellow. The number of cups of yellow paint will remain the same, but will increase the number of blue cups of paint. To make a bluer shade of green, we'll use two cups of yellow paint and five cups of blue paint. Find a mixture that will make a more yellowish color green. To make a more yellowish green color, we'd have to increase the ratio of yellow to blue. To increase the ratio of yellow paint to blue paint, we can either increase the amount of yellow paint or we can decrease the amount of blue paint, or we can do a combination of the two. In this example, I used three cups of yellow paint and three cups of blue paint to make a more yellowish color green. A lesson in elevation. Here's a simple illustration with the ocean mountains, and a valley. 
the black dotted line represents sea level. Above the line would be above sea level. Below the line would be below sea level. Sea level is an altitude of zero feet. Above sea level is a positive value and below sea level is a negative value. This mountaintop represents an elevation which would be above sea level and the valley floor represents an elevation that would be below sea level. This distance represents approximately 200 feet. The elevation of this point on the hill is approximately 200 feet above sea level. The elevation of this point on the valley floor is approximately 200 feet below sea level. 200 feet above sea level would be represented with a positive 200 feet and 200 feet below sea level would be represented with a negative 200 feet. Zero feet represents sea level. The further you go below sea level, the larger the negative number. The further you go above sea level, the larger the positive number. The peak of this mountain or hill is 500 feet above sea level. That means the elevation is 500 feet and the valley floor is 200 feet below sea level. That means that its elevation is negative 200 feet.